Good morning, folks. It's Sunday, the 2nd of February, coming up for 8 o'clock. By my standards, that's a lion. He's pretty grey. But have a listen to this. All around me, the song thrushes are treating February the 2nd like it's already spring. They're lovely like that. One of the most beautiful resident bird song we have, possibly even nationwide. I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of one singing. This one's hiding in the trees just beyond where I'm standing. But uh, we'll have a little look around, see what we can find. It's pretty nigh on impossible to uh, carry the phone like this and uh, my tripod see over my right shoulder uh, hopefully my microphone is not clattering against the tripod or something else like that but uh, a little piece of advice or request came in that uh, if i could keep the camera in landscape mode i think that's landscape mode um then it helps the uh, overall uh, video it does nothing for birding at all because I've got no hand free even to uh, lift up my bins. So I foresee many situations where I could be like this, looking up and around and something might fly over. Just stopping here, there's the very familiar wheeze of a green finch. Wow, two bird calls pointed out in one video so far. And this is gonna happen more and more as we come into spring. There's a great tip just in the bushes there as well. Um, don't know how that will come out if at all on the video. Um, but yeah, the more we come towards spring, the more we'll be singing then the, the early arrivals will start happening. That's only barely just over a month away. We're gonna be seeing singing chiff chaffs. Less of a songster, but uh, the um, sand martins will arrive. But I'll take you through it as it happens and uh, look forward to it. I'm not gonna speak over this much. I'm just gonna enjoy it.
So, this is obvious, the uh, light is pretty grey. Normally, uh, well, I say on a sunny morning, the light would be behind me and this bird would be well lit up. So, I promise you now that uh, not long in the future, I will take another video. A bit like I'll get one on a lower bush as well, so we can get a bit more um, of a better angle on things. But, not bad. Song thrush sing its heart out. They don't care about the weather. They just sing anyway. Fantastic. I think it's time I had another look for uh, missile thrush. To try and uh, they focus on these guys. Dead centre there. You have three field fair. But, uh, camera's probably always going to struggle. But uh, just get it adjusted slightly. Sitting up in the bush, obviously I'm having to look through the vegetation and keep my voice down. But um, it's, uh, I'm just trying to stay true to my uh, other intention. I want you to enjoy what I'm enjoying seeing. And uh, so I am up on the old uh, golf course as we know it. And uh, despite there being virtually no people around today, that hardly ever happens. Um, I haven't stumbled across the missile for us so far, but these guys uh, in, in the right light are pretty special and stunning birds. Let me just see if I can zoom up the back one there. And zoom in and get it steady. Focus. Out of it. Oop, camera slipping. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if I can try and get another angle from the other side, but they'll probably flush as soon as I move.
Yeah, Caroline's just spotted uh, a kingfisher. Let me zoom up a little bit. He's uh, concentrating. Looking down into the murky waters. Come on, turn around. <laughs> You've got her in the end. There we go, your beauty. How beautiful is that? It's a male, no orange in the bell. So, there we go, it's it for the day, well for the morning anyway, I don't know if I'll be able to get back or not, later. So, uh, 20 to 11, uh, I'm pretty happy, you've got, uh, just letting people pass me near uh, Sanford Mill, the, um, the bird of the day, I suppose there's two really, was um, the Missile Thresh had to go in there because it's just the pure amount of time and effort uh, put in to add it to the year list, relatively disproportionate. But in fairness, going up to the golf course is always fun because it's an area we, we pretty much neglected for, for years, just barely going up there. Um, mostly because only few of us could uh, tolerate the um, I, <laughs> I struggle to the amount of dogs running round your feet and I don't mind dogs um, but they're not under control and most people don't seem to care much but um, aside from that it was great to finally connect with them as I said earlier on I was always expecting to um, so yeah got the reward and then uh, bumping into Caroline along the Loddon later picking up that kingfisher who doesn't love a kingfisher they're just such an amazing beautiful coloured bird great um, character a lot of personality and quite a confiding male to be honest you can see them closer at different parts of the park different times a year but that one was obviously determined to fish along that part just waiting for the next things to happen those will be uh, most not necessarily in the exact order as this but there will be a mandarin seen any day now the birds arriving into the area will be oyster catcher and red shank and there's um it's pretty kind of wild card February. Some things are starting to, starting to move out of the wintering grounds. Um, so it, it really is sort of keep your eyes peeled for anything. Check all the ducks, just check everything. I mean, that's my golden rule. If in doubt, check it. In fact, it's not even if in doubt, just check everything. That's how you find things. Stumble across them and um, keep hard at it and things will happen. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, obviously always feel free to comment what you'd like more of what you'd like less of and um, i um, need to ask you to hit the little bell if you hit subscribe and hit the bell then you get notified as soon as i upload a new video well this has been one today uh, this is the first one this week uh, i have others to put together and um, that's only going to grow as there's more light in the mornings before work can't wait for that can't wait to do the next one stay well wish you great birding this is fraser coddington and this is find of the day <laughs> turn off <laughs>